morning, so it's Thursday morning in LA and we have decided to go on a little morning hike. So I think it's just shortly after 6 a.m. So we're gonna quickly find some breakfast and then we're gonna head up the hills and have some fun and I'll take you with us. And um, I'm just wearing chunky trainers, Nike shorts. Um, I'm wearing a little crop top and I'm just wearing my gym shark thingy as well, so. Okay, so we have a McDonald's and we were gonna sit in um, and just use it and then get an Uber to where we want to hike. But as we ordered and we're waiting for it, some guy got upset because the gents' toilets were closed. So he threw his drink and food at the ladies. And we were just standing there and it was so, so awkward. <laughs> it was insane. So we're like, yeah, nah, let's just go back to the hotel room and just like <laughs> have it the, there. The Although we look like weirdos in workout gears and McDonald's. But okay, so we are just at the Griffiths Observatory to start a hike. <laughs> and the weather has gone really weird. It was. I wouldn't say it was lovely to start with, but then there's really heavy fog started to come in. But it's meant to be really warm, so I think as the morning goes on, it will lift. But right now, this is what we're at, and it's not very much. <laughs> oh my god, look at my bed. <laughs> god, I didn't know it was that bad until I said that. Don't wear shorts and ride a bike along Venice because you'll get a bad tan, like me. Anyway. We've continued on and it's still really, really foggy. It's so okay, weird. So we just stopped because my sock keeps falling over and it's quite dusty, so it's a little bit sore. And then we found the Tiffany & Co Foundation Overlook. But you can't see anything because it's so foggy, but it's getting quite humid. And there's a warning sign for rattlesnakes. But it's a very lovely walk so far. Okay, so we're up to A Summit. The path up there, path there, path there. But we're going to go this way. And the fog is still here looking really, really thick. But it's... Yeah, not strange and eerie to look at, but it's cool because you can see it moving. Um, but yeah, my timeline is so bad. <laughs> That's awful. It's just your knee. I know, it's just like the thigh. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm drinking this really cool water. I can't remember if I showed you this yesterday, really sure. Um, but it's refillable. Don't look at my nail. It's disgusting. Okay, but, yeah. so we are standing in the middle of the road. Let's move over to the bike coming. We have gotten to the bottom pretty much of where the Hollywood sign is. Um, I know you can't see anything because of the fog, so it's quite poor. Well, believe me, it's literally just up that little bit of hill. Um, so we're going to wander up it. The sun is slowly coming out. But we are going to go up this hill. And we're going to do it. Okay, so if you don't look that way, if you look this way, the fog is lifted. Um, you can start to see a lot more, which is nice. So you turn this way. But I heard animals up here. And I'm scared it's like dangerous. But yeah, no, it's nice. It's getting warm. You can really feel the temperature picking it up. Um overall it's quite an easy walk. It is long and it is a little bit steep at times. But apart from that, it's pretty decent. The views are good when it's not foggy. Um but it's really pretty. Okay, so up a little bit more. We found the fog again and it's so weird. I don't like it. This side I do like. It's beautiful. I'm pretty. It's okay, so update. We went the wrong way. <laughs> um, don't fully understand that when you're on a hike because it's never right. Um, my shoes are looking a bit sweaty, ignore that. Um, <laughs> so we're walking back down. Walking back down on ourselves, which is a little bit annoying. And um, we should have taken a path that the signpost said, but we're following the sat nav thinking it would be right. It is not. It was trying to take us some, um, like not even a path, so you probably get bitten by something, like a snake or something. Um, a little bit annoying, but it's fine. We are almost there. Like we probably would have been there if we didn't get lost, but that's our fault. <laughs> okay, so we are getting close to the sign. I think it's just over there. Like we need to go around a little bit more and we'll see it more. But it's warm. Like it's very warm, but it's. The fog is lifting, which is good, but it's going to be quite a warm day. I mean, it could be warm because we're walking, but I think it's going to be warm anyway. And when we got lost before, um, we were on a completely wrong hill. I don't know how. I mean, obviously, we were following sat-nav, um, <laughs> Google Maps, which is not something you should do if you're on a hike. Like, trust your insects, read the signs, <laughs> and you won't get lost like we did. Um, but now we're on the right bit track and we are close to it, which is cool. Look what we found. We found Hollywood sign. 
and now it's a very beautiful day <laughs> although we didn't see that there's a path here originally so we were just opposite it just down there and they had a little bit that people have obviously climbed up and we didn't know there was a path so we thought we went the wrong way <laughs> so i climbed up it and bear in mind there was like a lot more people than there is now and i was like oh my god like my little head just peeped off over there <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing but there was a path here the whole time um but we made it Okay, so it's starting to turn into a really lovely day. Um, this sign was really cool. I wish we lived there though. That'd be so good. But you can see the end of Hollywood sign, which is so pretty. Okay, so this is the little path I ran up. <laughs> and there were so many people just above and you just had me just putting my like head peeping over. So embarrassing. So we are down. We are reached for bottom. We actually like ended up a a different part like it's not way exactly where we wanted to be but it was shorter so now we just ordered our uber, uber and it's just about to come and now we're just gonna chill because that was quite a lot like for whatever reason that took us four hours so um, i mean yeah we did take a few wrong paths here and there but i don't really know why it took us four hours that's quite excessive but i think now that's our uber okay so we are back from the hike um, I'm looking a little bit red, but it might be fine with the day goes on. Um, okay, so yeah, so we've like, I've showered, washed my hair, all of Plex number eight is my new best friend. I love it. Um, now we're just sort of going to go to Beverly Hills, we're going to get some lunch, um, probably do a little bit of shopping. But before I go, oh, I'm going to put some sun cream on, and this is my new favourite. So we popped into, ignore my nails, we'll hide them. Um, I popped into Sephora and they had a, like a bag full of like mini sizes of sun cream and lots of different ones just for your face. So I was like, oh, I'll just get this and we'll try it. So I've been trying out a lot of different ones. Um, I had this one this morning and it seems to have done a good job. So it's meant to be SPF 40 Super Gloop and it's, it's cool. It's a very weird texture from what I'm used to. But it seems to be good. So I'm just going to pop some in my hand. And this is a show of a texture. Like, I've never had sun cream like this. But I really like it. It's quite... It's very different. But it seems to be, like, do such a good job. So I might go back and find, like, an actual sized bottle of that. Because I quite like it. This is, like, a better view of my outfit. So I have this really cute old potty dress on. It's not actually straight. So I'll faff with that in a second. This little crop denim jacket. Because it is warm. But I don't want my shoulders to burn. And um, so I'm gonna put some cream on as well. Um, God, I ignore my feet. I'm gonna put some Gucci's on because I wore the Balenciagas on the hike and my feet are so sore. Um, I'm trying not to hurt them because I want to wear my new Louis Vuittons tonight because I think it's only fair that I got them in LA. I need to first wear them in LA. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is like my outfit. Um, and I'm gonna have like a no makeup look because it's so much easier with no makeup. Okay, so we have left the house. We came to the Cheesecake Factory and it's a lot more bougie than I was expecting. I was expecting something quite like cheap and cheerful. They gave us bread, they've got such a big menu. Like I've never seen a menu that big in like ever. Um, which is super fun. And like, yeah, so they gave us some bread and it was amazing. And it's a super warm day outside. I think it was like 28 degrees. It's just warm for If us. anyone knows me, I am obsessed with mojitos. And I've been slowly trying different ones. This is just a normal one. I think. What was the other mojito that I tried the other day? That had a different flavour in it. It was a little bit different. It had a fancier flavour. I can't remember what it was. I could. I don't. Is it the kind of? Is that the one that we had at the rooftop? Yeah, maybe. I can't remember its name, but it was good. It was nice. But this is just a box standard one, and this is how you judge if a place is good is by the mojitos. <laughs> Look at how cool this lift is. This is so cool. So we went to the Beverly Center. I bought a few things and now we're here just to browse, see what there is, and which is super fun. Okay, so, so we are just back from a rooftop. We just chilled up there for maybe like 40 minutes, 45 to an hour. It's lovely, but it's starting to get a little bit, it's not cold, it's just like it's not sunbathing weather and um, so we came back down and we're gonna get ready for the night we've still got a few hours but it's always good to give yourself plenty of time um i am so excited for tonight's outfit i've got a few options um most definitely it's the new shoes i've got a few blazers i want to wear i don't know if it would work though with the outfit but we can play around and i'll show you um, and i've still got quite a weird looking tan line 
Um, yeah, not that. Okay, so I was moaning at the coffee machine that is in my room, and they've got like a little thing, and um, this they had Earl Grey here, and I'm a big Earl Grey lover, so I put it in and used the whatever the powdered cream of milk thing and this is what it's turned out like it looks disgusting it looks like diarrhea okay so now i'm dressed i'm ready got my makeup on and we're going off to dinner for our final dinner night here so we've got tomorrow but this is what we have booked for today tomorrow's gonna be a little bit more chill so this is my outfit it's very out there for a thursday night but i'm also debuting these beautiful babies um oh i love them they are so cute. But now we're going off to go and have a little um, rundown to catch a bee. Um, okay, so we are now here for dinner. We're at the rooftop by JG. Um, the sunset is so pretty. If you look that way far enough, you'd see the Hollywood sign as well. But it's got really cute flowers and it's just perfect for pictures and stuff. Okay, so I've just added some pictures in because the sunset was insane and you could not add it in. Then I added this in. I think this was some fancy mojito because I was saying I loved them. So I think it's a different kind. And this was my salad where it was actually really hard to eat because it was so sour. It took me ages. But, like, it was still good, but it was just, like, a okay, lot. Okay, so our dinner has arrived. I went and got some kale salad. I some pasta. And I got some chips as well. But this looks so good. And that's the current here.